Good morning! It's a rainy day in Boston, but we're heading to the MIT, what is it called? Great MIT Glass MIT Pumpkin Patch. Pumpkin Patch they do this every year where all the students sell um, these glass pumpkins. I'm excited. I wanted to go last year, but we missed it. We are here and maybe we'll adopt a little pumpkin today. <laughs> How cute is this glass pumpkin patch? They're scattered around everywhere. There are over 2,000 glass pumpkins. I kind of like this guy, but James says it's not colorful enough. We shall see. Look how cool this one is. They range from $30 to a few hundred dollars depending on how intricate it is. The less expensive ones are the first to go, so plan to go early. James found one he liked, and it's really cute. Look at how intricate it is. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, but it's 300. <laughs> We're going with these two little guys today. It's so rainy. It's starting to drizzle a lot, but we got our pumpkins. They're so cute. I'm so glad we found two that we like. <laughs> and now we're heading to get something to eat. We just grabbed lunch at Flower. It's so crowded in there, so we're just gonna eat in the car. James got his BLT, which is delicious. Flower has such good sandwiches, and this is the BLT. They make their own focaccia bread every morning. And I got my favorite turkey sandwich with cranberry chutney and cheddar. Time for ginger molasses cookie. James already took a bite. Look at how small his mouth is. <laughs> Smells like the holidays with this molasses cookie. Hello, today we're doing a tour of the Boston Athenaeum. It is a private independent library here in Boston that's very old. It's one of the oldest one in the country. I believe it was established in 1807 and I learned of this library from a friend who was visiting Boston because she did her research and um, I just never knew that it even existed so thank you Diana for letting me know about this library. I love libraries so I'm so excited to see it. It was stunning inside. The architecture was beautiful and I just want to find a nook and get lost in a book. Some of their notable members included John Adam, Louisa May Alcott, Ralph Waldo Emerson, and President Kennedy. We actually went back a few weeks later for their annual open house, and I'll share that in an upcoming vlog. I couldn't resist taking a photo with their beautiful red doors. The library tour was so cool. I love it. Oh, I want to become a member. <laughs> Now we're heading to get some pho because it's kind of dreary out today and enjoy some food. <laughs> we don't often go out for Vietnamese food because my mom makes the best Vietnamese food. But when we do, we go here because the food is good and we've been going here since college so it's nostalgic. Last stop today, we're gonna get dessert at the Omni Parker House. Here's the Boston cream pie. It's invented here. These elevators are amazing. The Omni Parker is a historic hotel and it has many interesting tidbits. I'll link the page below if you would like to read more about it. Hi! So we just got home. The bar at the Omni Parker house was way too crowded tonight. They had a lot of events going so we decided not to wait. We bought two Boston cream pies to go. You could actually get them pretty easily at their gift shop and you don't have to wait around at the bar if you don't want to. So we're gonna change into our comfy clothes, make some tea, and eat our desserts at home. Here's what the Boston cream pies look like when you take them to go. They were actually in a little plastic container. I love the history of this. This is the original birthplace of the Boston cream pie. It's actually not a pie. It's a sponge cake filled with custard cream. Around it is almond slices. That's a nice texture, and on top is always a chocolate glaze and there's always like a swirly pattern. And of course, if you get it in the restaurant, they'll plate it nicely with some whipped cream and some strawberries. It's probably not gonna be the most amazing cake you're gonna eat, but I just think it has so much history and it's actually a pretty good cake, so no complaints there. Eating our Boston cream pie now. <laughs> it's so funny. It's still really good. It's not so sweet, and I don't know if you can see that. There's a layer of uh, custard cream in the middle. Mm, tea and dessert! 
still really satisfying. It's a good cake. Ugh. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe to see more. I'll see you next time. Bye.